Welcome back to the Team Nerd Herd podcast, where our best advice is if you want to do it right, collect what you like. Heard, we are super excited to bring you yet another comic book artist spotlight interview, a segment we like to call, What If We Never Shut the F Up? Today, <laughs> you guys will find out. But before we introduce our guests, who we are super excited to have, let's go ahead and get into this roll call. What's going on, Alonzo? Talk to me. Ooh, not much, but yeah, I'm super excited about uh, who we have um, in the back room today. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, this is Alonzo, aka Comics and Pops. I am your comic book nerd as well as your pop culture fanatic. Um, how about you, Ian? What's going on? Yo, what's up? My name is Hood Rat. You're Hood Rat. We're all Hood Rats. I'm just your uh, schizophrenic collective, all things real and digital, man. I'm, I'm and I'm ready to get this uh, get this uh, interview rolling. What's up, Steve? Nothing much. And I'm Steve, a.k.a. Hip Hop Sydney underscore comics underscore collectibles. I'm your one twelve scale, scale collector, comic book lover, and chaser of all things nostalgic. Now that we got the roll call, without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our guests. We're going to go ahead and introduce the gals. Now, you guys have seen the, our gals in the community. You've seen Laura from Bird City. You've seen Mama Comic Lucy. They are here with us. Give them a round of applause. The gals from Nearing nerd vana yeah. welcome 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 so 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 happy to have you guys thank you guys thank for you, joining thank us you. oh we're excited to be here when lucy told me about this i'm like they're having who on i have to be yeah. there i'm i'm not gonna give anything away but I know. oh yeah but well, we i mean we're super grateful to have you guys we've been watching you guys and your guys show we love what you guys have been doing over there we love the diversity and direction and all the different topics it's just such a breath of fresh air and it's great yeah. to see the women in our community yep. that are that are here that are you know supporting as well so I, i'm ecstatic so thank you guys thank you guys you. always have a really good vibe to your show you always have a lot of good uh good great content that no one's talking about like you guys have the best show on the youtube well, let's go you know like near nirvana man let's do it oh yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely easier because we're all friends, but I completely agree. It's it's nice to have women that are kind of giving a different perspective, and we bring in as many women female creators as we can, and it, it's fun. We enjoy it. We're glad you guys watch. Oh yeah, oh, sure. definitely. Huge definitely. Fan. We are bell notified, Laura. <laughs> bell notified. Uh, it's kind of deja vu because uh, you know this past week I was watching. Uh, the sexualized cover segment. I loved it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, without further ado, we want to go ahead and introduce our guests. Now, you know, she is an international powerhouse artist. You guys have seen her covers in Dynamite with Red Sonia, Dear Becky, The Boys, you know. Yep. Also, that new cover in Batman 108 with that Miracle Molly. She's staring right into my soul right now, and I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I'm going <laughs> to tell you guys right now. But if you're on a horror tip like Mama Comic and I, you look up there and you see that nice house on the lake and she is setting the tone team nerd heard give her a round of applause and a warm welcome our friend to the podcast carla cohen Woo! hey carla, hey guys. You yes. hey, carla. Hey, carla. Well, super excited well thank you so much for coming by we're super excited to have you and um well, thanks I to know. you it's a honor thank you, thank you very much <laughs> So without further ado, Carla, we kind of have this segment that we kind of break up. It is a rapid fire question. It, it allows our audience to know a little bit more about you. And uh, I know the gals have questions as well, as well as Ian and Alonzo. So we're going to go ahead and give you a couple of our rapid fire questions. So for me, I'm going to start it off with, you know, um, I love your art. I, I love the realization of it. I love the beauty of it. And um, I want to know, is there a specific artist or music that you listen to to, to set the tone and to kind of gear into painting your covers? Um, well, I'm very inspired by artists uh, because uh, especially when you do realism, you need to see uh, something real to be inspired and uh, to take uh, inspiration from. Uh, there is a lot of artists that I really admire. Uh, in the fine art and in the comic industry. Uh, I would say Boris Vallejo, Julie Bell, of course, Lucio Periolo, who is my mentor and my, and my other house. Uh, so also Olivia. Uh, there is such a great artist nowadays and uh, 
Yeah, this is what I'm taking my inspiration from. And uh, as far from music, I'm very uh, non-constant about music. Like, okay. <laughs> I can I can hear classical and move to uh, rock and move to uh, pop indie chill uh, music. Uh, um, v- v- very, yeah, uh, large Diverse. variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome That's, to hear. Yeah. I'm not like, uh, I'm moving from uh, one uh, to another without any problem. All right. E, you ready? Oh, yeah. All right, Carl. I, I warned you in the back room. Like, we, we, we're all about food up in here at Team Nerd Herd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's comics and then foods and then food, food, food. You know? So, let me ask you, since you live in Italy, what is your favorite uh, Italian dish at the mm. moment? Mm. At the moment. Yeah, because uh, food is uh, is taking a very large place in my life since I'm French. <laughs> so yeah, I've been uh, I've been growing with the sense of uh, gastronomy and eating is something uh, uh, more than vital, but also a sharing uh, moment. Mm-hmm. And uh, since I lived to Italy, I like the simple ingredients, but uh, but uh, yeah, like full of. Uh, Full of taste, and uh, here so far, the, the the plate I love the most is uh, the parmigiana, which mm. is based of eggplants, um, uh, salsa di pomodoro, uh, how say tomato sauce. I mean everything very tasty and fried eggplants, which means like you have a full. Um, yeah, a full, a full of something happening in your mouth, and it just like, <laughs> damn good. Damn good, hell yeah! Like, oh I my god, that is great. Yeah. I need to get a vaccination so and head over to Italy. <laughs> right, just the way she says it sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. Laura, you're reading I don't my mind. Even know. It just sounds I think amazing. I have, I have to rethink the menu of tonight because I didn't thought you would have. Uh, ask those kind of questions, but now I want to eat the parmigiana tonight. What I'm gonna do? No, man. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go get me some uh, Italian food right now. But thank you, thank you, Carla. I'm gonna pass it down to Laura. All right, so Carla, what are you watching right now? If you were binging something on Netflix or Hulu, or if you're just watching a movie at night with Lucio, what are you watching? Um, so Lucio is kind of uh, like the blood, the war, and everything. I'm more like kind of a you know, a little Peppa Pig thing. So <laughs> we're trying to find a, a little uh, uh, way in the middle. And I love the La Casa del Papel. Oh, hmm. uh, okay. How do you say? No, how do you say? Uh, money Haste in English. Oh. Money Haste? Oh, money Haste. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know what you're okay. talking about. That's yeah, why, my that's why actually that my dog is calling Tokyo. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, very yeah. nice. A little insight. A little oh, insight. Yeah. I can see. And uh, and then we like the boys, of course. Oh um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're we're watching a lot of Marvel on DC since we are not like having so much time to read. But at night we like the Marvel on DC universe uh, movies. Um, yeah, that's a uh, oh, good answer. Of course, of course, my feminine thing, uh, like Sex and the City, Desperate yeah, Housewives. <laughs> Um, Sex in the City never gets yeah. old, huh? You could rewatch those over and over. Exactly. Oh, very good. <laughs> All right, Carla. So my question is, is comic book related. Uh, can you tell me what is the first comic book you ever purchased? Uh, purchased. Like... You mean I'm collecting comic books? No, no, no. Just yeah. whatever you bought. What is the first comic book you actually went to a store or went somewhere to actually pay oh. for? Oh, yeah. Oh, something that I buy like as a comic book, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. Yep. Um, it's actually uh, because I was in need of because I, I, I didn't thought to be in the comic industry as a work. Uh, but everything went so fast and I remember my first commission was at first I was doing a portrait and fine art painting. Someone asked me for a blank cover. I didn't know what was blank cover. So I went to a comic workshop and grabbed my first blank cover and it was like so intimidating like, oh, am I supposed to draw on this on the cover of a book? And uh, yeah, 
that's uh, that's my first purchase. And after, like, on the same time, I bought a Ricca- Ricardo Federici uh, comic book. Okay. Um, yeah, that was my first experience in a comic shop. And, and how was it? Was it good? Was it a good yeah, experience? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, I mean, I never thought I would enter in a comic shop, and uh, so there is a first time at everything. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm new. Like, sure. I'd, uh, I'd say, like for me, comics when I was a, uh, because I was a, uh, I was a girl like more in the Barbie, more like, uh, you know, not nerd. And I was like, <laughs> "Ouch!" And Lucho, said, Lucho <laughs> told me, "You don't need to be nerd to to be in the comic industry." I said, "Okay, right. fine, yeah. but like, not like everything at once, you know. Slow down. Like, I don't want to be like too much in it, you know." <laughs> I mean, my, my my heart hurts. I, I mean, you don't have to say it's so mean, though, Carla. She said, "You're a no. nerd." I was like, <laughs> "We're all nerds." No. Okay. No, no. <laughs> It's me. I was very ignorant, no. you know, because I always saw my brother so much in the modern DC and say, no, I don't want to be in that, you know, because <laughs> I, re- I, I was really not meant to be in this. But then I, I really loved, like I say, well, I discovered a whole new world, you know, and uh, for me, that was so exciting. So, so you told me, how was it? I was surprised because like, I never thought like there was the, the the industry was that huge with so many comic shops around the world and uh, uh, when you enter in the comic show, say, oh, do you have a Lucho Perillo? And I was so happy they told me yes. Like I was surprised of everything, you know, like a like a little girl co- uh, uh, going in the candy shop and uh, I was like uh, blown away by everything because I didn't yeah. knew anything. Oh, that's I'm awesome. honest that's to awesome. tell, you know. I'm honest to tell, like, I always uh, I always thought, like, comics was very cliche, and that wasn't for a woman, for example. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I, was, uh, yeah I was surprised to be in this, like, simply. Oh, that's great. That's great. Um, okay, Lucy, what do, you, what do you got for Carla? Okay, so what's your, do you have a routine that you have to prepare before you start drawing? A routine? Uh... What do you mean? Like beauty or Like saying? you have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wash your best. hair, wash yeah, your face. Right. That's now, the best like, routine you know, ever. You, know, you, you have to like have like a certain uh, uh, things with you to be able to start. If you don't have those things with you, like you don't feel like you not you cannot start. Yeah, I I I got a question. So good question. Uh, th- there's some artists that they can have a. The, the, the worst pencil in the hand and a napkin, you know, and they can do like an artwork on it. Like Lucho. I'm very jealous. Um, he can draw like even on the wall and something will pop out and it will be like amazing. I'm not like this. Uh, I need no. like, uh, yeah, you I are. need everything to be very ordered and clean and uh, have my things set up. I don't need to miss like one color. Everything needs to be there. I'm kind of very psychorigid in my process, which is something good because uh, I think it's my feminine way to uh, to to make things organized and, and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm not like, you know, when you see an art studio, you see like a, you see like a uh, paint tube like full of colors over and everything splash around <laughs> mine you feel like you're you're going to a studio of a lawyer like everything <laughs> must be precise <laughs> you would ne- you would never tell i'm painting 10 hours a day you would never think like i'm drawing my i'm putting gloves to 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 work <laughs> yeah so i i need my my routine is kind of uh, yeah. I need my if I if I'm using my reference, I need my reference on the side. If I'm yeah, everything. Yeah, you have to I'm be organized. No, yeah. you have to be organized to have everything you need. That's yeah, awesome. I mean, I, I I'm since I'm a, since I'm not like a man to be an artist since I'm very young. Uh, I've been very like mentally uh, trained to be like you must be organized so your brain is organized and i think this thing like remains in me and yeah, uh, i'm going away <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it definitely so gives good. you a clear picture for sure 
uh, yep, on what yep. you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Like, I uh, so, so sometimes I feel like okay, like go free, go without um, thinking too much, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel the image, like if I if I see just a little things going out on my paper, I say no, and I have to use the rubber, and then the rubber will will leave a mark on my. I just like <laughs> take the paper, do like this, and throw. <laughs> Which which is bad because I I saw like so many uh, artist uh, sketches where it's kind of it gives personality to the artwork, but I can't do that. Like my brain is not like I'm not ready for that. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I I, need, I try to be as clean as I as I need, not that as I can I like as I that. need. I think that it, I think you said it well too. That's a feminine thing. I'm the same way. Yeah. I think girls kind of like things a little bit more organized, and I mean that sounds. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Also, at the Comic Con, for example, I'm struggling so much because the space is very, is very small. I need yep. to be like, uh, sometimes I'm stressed. Like, and you know, I'm, I have to go. <laughs> it's like panic I, I think, mode. <laughs> I think me and Alonzo might be girls too because we're super organized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can join us. Hey, girl. I'm a very hey. efficient person. I like that. Like me, like around my desk, I have to be able to swing all the way around to grab everything, and everything it has to be in its place. Because if it's not, I feel like it's like I'm not gonna get shit done. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, let me but, ask you. Like, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. no, no. Tell me. Tell me. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm on here. I'm uh, no, it's just like uh, it's even like, but it, it makes a huge. Uh, how say? It's shocking sometimes because uh, the cliche of an artist would be, you know, uh, even the old master art studio were very like full of thing, very, uh, yeah, kind of messy. And I'm like at the anti antipodes of this, you know. So sometimes oh. I, am I real an artist? Like, but you know, I don't get how you know. There's like real awesome people that are super messy, and I don't get it. I'm like, how how do you? How do you know? How, how do you do it? Like the, you know. Um, so. I, I know the the answer is like some, they they they're inspired by this. Like they they yeah. make the 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 place very personal. Like I'm, uh, yeah. Like my studio would be like kind of. Uh, it can be yours. Can be yours. Can be yours. It's mm -hmm. a very uh, kind of anonymous. Like I don't want to leave a mark somewhere. Very yeah. very very like. Um, you know, the uh, woman's problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let me ask, let me ask, let me ask you, Carla, like, uh, when did you, when, when did, when did Carla first want to be an artist and where? When I first like called myself an artist? When you first wanted to be an artist and where? Oh, okay. So I was in economics and in politics since, uh, since 18 mm. years old. Oh, okay. uh, oh. that, uh, that, um, th that wasn't suit me at all, but you know, parents pressure and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need to be someone and no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, at, uh, at a point I just decided like to go away and, uh, try the art. Cause I always, I've always been very manual. I need to do things, um, uh, drawing, painting, uh, um, I always did that, but then I said, well, I need to learn. So I found a school in Amsterdam. Then I went to Paris again, two years and then in Florence, but I was doing more illustration, uh, for fine art. So portraiture mm -hmm. and everything, but the, the, but the one who I really owe, uh, kind of everything is Lucho. Because uh, cause he he really saw something in me that I didn't sew myself. I say if you learn, you will you, you can do like awesome things. And uh, he gave me all the tools like to okay now you can professionally do something with what you do. And um, yeah, I got my first uh, cover artwork like very fast, like too fast. I didn't. I didn't expect to work that soon in the industry. Uh, so that was such an opportunity, but at the same time, a lot of pressure and I want, I'm keeping learning. Like I don't want to stop learning. Cause I think like an artist, an artist should never stop learning. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's uh, that was uh, it's in Florence in Lucio's atelier that I that I knew that I wanted to become a comic artist. <sighs> that's so neat. Isn't your first book? It was Sabrina the Teenage Witch, right? Yeah. Oh, that one's such a nice cover. If I can get my hands on it, it's it's, it's on my wish list. We're gonna get that eventually here. <laughs> well, thank you. It's thank you guys cool. for appreciating my art. Oh my god. Oh, you're um, you're, you're oh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, and then like that uh starlight that you did that for starlight. the boys, mm-hmm. dear Becky. Oh dear. my god, that it, it was stunning. And and that's what really drew me in into your art was seeing that uh that cover and I was like, "Oh my god." I'm like, "I need to know what other things she's done." <laughs> You know, so I started just to like look into it and, and pick up some of those dynamite books, um, just I, so I can get a piece of it. I mean, it's it's they're gorgeous. I owe a, I owe a lot also to Scorpion Comics that made me uh, all those um, exclusive covers first for Vampirella and then the Starlar, Starlight, Dear Becky, The Boys, because mm-hmm. uh, uh, the one of the owner of Scorpion Comics. He's one of the first uh, person I I met, but not when I wasn't a comic artist. And he made me paint his two kids' portrait. And when he saw the portrait I did for his kids, they say, why don't you do like covers? And I say, me? Covers? No, <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> and he just like told me I, I got an editor mail and say, okay, someone requests you for a cover. I say, oh my God, that's soon. And so, yeah, I did so many stuff for them. And um, and that dear Bakey, uh, I really enjoyed the process. So, Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's sold out in seconds. I mean, a scorpion is known for their, you know, like uh, their covers to sell like in matters of minutes. Not even not even minutes. It's like seconds. Yeah. I, yeah. I, uh, I saw your uh, Vampirella. And uh, I think that's was my introduction into your work. And then I saw Starlight. And then same with Alonzo. I, I looked online. I said, I, I have to see a lot of her other work. And it, it's it's in a different direction. I think with comic book collecting, the, the beauty of it is you get to see different artists. You get uh, a certain appeal for their art. Um, you know, I know Laura likes fine art, and she's a fan of fine art as well. Mm-hmm. And um, it, to me, I, 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 I'm looking at books, but I also look at it like, well, what, what are the depths of of this artist and what can they create aside from just comic books? So, I mean, you, you were saying you do a lot of fine art and a lot of uh, backgrounds and portraits. I, I would imagine living in Italy. I mean, you could just go out to your deck and just stare out into beauty. I mean, I'm, um, when I go, when I go, when I go out there, I'm just looking at another, Oh, beautiful. <laughs> See, when I go out, I'm, I'm looking at a neighbor, one that I don't like right now. <laughs> no, no, I'm back. I'm sorry. Back, back no, to no. Cer- certainly it inspired a lot to live in a city where uh, it's like an open sky museum, you know? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. It, it, well, Steve, really quickly though, I mean, when you look at your stuff, you can definitely see the inspiration mm-hmm. that you pulled from Lucio. You can see that he has definitely had a huge effect on your art, but at the same time, Carla, you are becoming your own force. Like you see your stuff and I know it's yours. Um, you have your own specific touch to it. It looks like every every one of your covers looks like its own little individual masterpiece to me. I think they're incredible. And like Steve was saying, that's what drew me into this world was cover. I love Jenny Frizen. So does Lucy. That's one of our faves. Um, but mm-hmm. again, you're definitely. Thank you so I, I'm, much. I'm so excited to see what else you have coming out. I'll say Thank that. you so much. Yeah, I tried yeah. to make them like... Uh, refine as much as I can and uh, also of course you will see always Lucho's inspiration also because yeah. we we I mean I- I'm watching him painting uh, since five years every day and so of course your eyes is like y- you take inspiration also for the for the female proportion I use you you see like I'm inspired by people I see every day like you you can't like I have uh, less uh, creativity than Lucho, but I'm very attentive to realism and uh, mm. I'm trying to make them like very, uh, how would say, genuine, you know? Mm-hmm. Like uh, so, also for proportion, realism. I'm trying to 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 bring them as as real as I can, you know? 
That's so, what I was gonna say. Like, I, I I like how you make them, you know, not like, like the the bodies that they're real people, you know. And women I, have thighs yes, and butts, yes, and, and that's something that we have talked about, like the sexuality in women and stuff like I, that. Like, I, I, if I some, were, if it was for me. I would do like slightly different, but you know, you have always an editor above your head and they, they, they're asking for some specifics, but I'm always trying to, to keep the, the shape and uh, announcing the female body, which uh, this is what I love most to paint. So mm -hmm. shapes, forms, if there is like a little, uh, a little uh, how would I say, not too skinny, not too uh, body built. I'm trying to do like a, a midway uh where every where a woman can identify herself especially for red sonia because i think it's a character that a lot of women wants to uh, identify easily too mm -hmm. so i'm trying to keep like a, a something like normal like it's comics but yeah it can be fine art as it would be like uh, your sister posing for red sonia you know so yeah. so speaking of posing and stuff like that because everything is is so realistic with your art um do you use like a, a real life model or a, do you um like use yeah. like your computer or a book and find pictures of, of women and just kind of use them as reference alonzo's volunteering so he's like i will pose for you <laughs> so alonzo will you become punchline for I, you i won't be buying that cover <laughs> it's <laughs> It's a great question also because when you do a realistic stuff, of course you need to be based on realistic things. Otherwise, it's not as realistic as you can see there. So some of my covers are more realistic than others. It's because um, uh, I have a model that uh, posed for me uh, li li uh, life. Like uh, sometimes she's here and I'm like drawing, posing different uh, uh, stuff. Um, also, um, you need a strong uh, knowledge in anatomy, also because um, what you see in real life, uh, it's always distorted by the perspective, the photography. Like if I put my my camera like mm -hmm. this, you will see my head so big that you feel like she's in proportionate if I draw that. So you need to um, you need to adjust everything. So if I need a hand, I will take a picture of the hand with the light and shadows. So what I'm using is not much like the model, it's more like putting the right lights and shadows on an object. The object will mm -hmm. be the figure and you need like uh, to, 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 to get that volume, to get that uh, realism, it's the lights and shadows because there is no lines. Like uh, even a nose, there is no lines. It's just like light, shadows. Um, so it's just about this. So. It's a bit of a mix of everything. So, so if I have a nice like light on shadows on a bust, I will use that bust, but then I will take my feet or my face. And then you do like a kind of a mashup of everything. And uh, and um, that's, a, that, that, that's the point. Like to get realistic stuff, you need to be based on realism. And realism, it's made of lights and shadows. So I get my lights and shadows from life models, from myself. Mm -hmm. um, that that's it yeah and i want to ask you i i really like this cover i'm going to do something we never did here on nerd herd i'm going to bust out a cover that you did um <clears throat> i i like this cover you know i really do i mean my thing is that there's no body to it right so you're not getting you know you're not doing this whole thing about like let's make this sexy body right like you're, you're it's all face it's all yeah. like what's and you can see on this like the attitude right like um you tell us, yeah. tell, tell me, tell us more about this. This is, I think, Merrick, this is a dope one. Mm -hmm. How how'd this the, happen? You want to see the the process? Mm -hmm. No, just tell us, tell us, tell us what the process uh, is, was like. Uh, yeah, I I really want to bring uh, that portrait very strong and powerful and keep the attention in the eyes because uh, the viewer is always attracted by the eyes first. So I've been working on the eyes and the eyes. Uh, I took uh, I took mine as a base, like this. <laughs> and okay. uh, and then uh, it's uh, here you can see maybe I would say less realism uh, also because I had to edit digitally the hair I had the original with me uh, oh, can I see bad. the original oh oh, oh 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 this is oh, wow. no. No. you cannot uh, I'm sorry oh. I'm sorry 
Alonzo would probably packed. buy it from you. <laughs> it's packed. It's packed and ready to be shipped. But oh, uh, oh, Alonzo can't buy it. Someone, oh. Oh, someone beat me to it. <laughs> but yeah, this one. Uh, yeah, I use a. Uh, I mean, this is not, this is not the face of somebody here. It's a kind of a, a human proportion, and you bring just like the the expression in the eyes. And just like uh, the right lights and shadows that you can put on your single face, like uh, it's not like um, it's not like uh, Megan Fox or Angelina Jolie. You would uh, see the difference if I do like a very uh, strong look lightness portrait, and if not here, it's not. So you can see like uh, the um, the mouth isn't like that much render realistically. But I really like because it's my first DC comic cover. So I wanted to bring something more comics in it. Uh, I think also those stuff that in 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 I mean, realistically, like if I would do like a sticker or a makeup, it wouldn't render like this. But I really wanted to put like strong colors and make something different. It's definitely striking. Um, the yeah, like like you said, the eyes are everything, and uh, I think that would go for all men. I mean, when they're um, you know like looking at a, a woman that they're interested in. I think for me, it's all in the eyes. It's uh, it's the first thing I look at because it's just yeah. uh, um, how you identify with that person. But this is beautiful. I mean, the the hair laying off to the side. There's just so much attitude towards it, and it, it just uh, really zeroes in on her face. Thank I you. love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't want to run this question. The eyes, the yep. eyes is just like that's the first thing. It just kind of like yeah. it draws you. Like you, you, I mean, I yeah, that's that's the, the eyes. eyes. <laughs> Yeah, that's the aim of the of the game here. It's like I really wanted to to keep. Uh, it was challenging because when you see like this big mark of uh, of green hair, your eyes will go to the hair, but you will go uh, in any case back to the eyes because mm -hmm. it's what like uh, makes your um, yeah it keeps your eyes like uh, attention. For sure and. You know what? And just in case you didn't know, which I'm sure you do already, this, these, this issue that you did, this variant cover, sold out in seconds. Yeah, um, yeah. I know. but and I know, but I was able I was... to I was able to get get it through. So I'm just waiting for my order to come. Um, but it was like it, of all the variants for this particular issue for Batman 108, I had to get yours. Well, thank um, and you again, so much. to everybody's point here on the panel, I mean it's. It's those eyes. I mean, it really spoke to me, and it was something different than all the other variants that I saw. Um, that I I had to get this one. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I have to say that for that one, it was. Uh, I mean, this is what I'm more trained for portraits. I really love portraits because my I can keep my attention only on a single face and refine every single like little hair, little lines. And uh, this is what I enjoy most portrait. And yeah, I want to ask a question for the ladies on the panel because I'm not a lady and I can't speak for the ladies. But <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think a man can make this, this like uh, facial expression. Like it says, it's a, it's. I think it's. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think a woman understands could do this and understand this more because it's just like, why are you trying to size me up? Don't size. You want to size me up, you're going to get some. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys like, think, uh, you know? Watch out, otherwise I will bite you. Oh, she, yeah. she, she nailed it. She got this perfectly. There is so much attitude, that female attitude. And mm -hmm. to be able to capture it the way she did is incredible. Did you like uh, doing the hair digitally, or do you prefer more of the traditional approach to art? Uh, I prefer them... Uh, I mean, I did them traditionally, but just for to, to have this green, uh, very electric, I had yeah. to just like saturate a little more. So I did it. I did them like traditionally, fully. Um, it's very, um, it's a lot of work, but I really enjoy like every single. I, I love like going through details like so much. So I can I can spend a day only on the on the eases of the eye. Uh, I'm very patient because I really want like uh, I, I want things to be the way I'm I have in mind. So like you're envisioning I, it. I, yeah. I won't leave a space for mm, I wanted this. Oh, it's fine. I got this. No, no. I have to go like 
if the eyes would have been like that turquoise color, it has to be the right color for me. Hmm. It's beautiful. Lucy, what do you think of the eyes? You said before it captures you, right? Yeah, I know. It's just so, I don't, they, they, they seem just so realistic. I, I, you know, Yeah. it just looks like a, a just a picture. It doesn't seem like, you know, something that you drew. Like it, it just, I don't know. It, it's just beautiful. <laughs> like I try to look <laughs> at other stuff and I just keep coming back to the eyes, you know, it, it, I, it's just perfect. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Too much compliments. Yeah. Also no. about the expression. <laughs> also about oh. the expression. I had so much. Uh, I enjoy so much doing the Vampirella covers issues, uh, exclusive for Scorpion, because we. Um, he he gave me like really like a white card to do whatever I wanted, and I wanted those those five issues to um to have a like a thread, you know, and I wanted to um to represent the different uh, expression of a woman. So Vampirilla 8 was like a passion, uh, mm -hmm. passion, like the, the one in the background, like passion mm -hmm. and envy, you know? No, not envy, I would say. Yeah, passion, like a, a kind of, a, yeah, a woman who have a pleasure. Uh, then we have <laughs> like the, the angriness. Yeah. Uh, so I really enjoy doing expression, like, uh, I mean, I think it's a masterpiece. It gives you like an ode to um, the woman, you know, and and to to like uh, a woman is just poetry in motion, you know, like us, us 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 men. We just you know we're just bumbling idiots, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but the women are poetry in motion. I mean, it, it, the essence and the beauty of it. I mean, just my God. So, and yeah, I'm and really. Then... Tell me, tell me. Oh, I was going to say, like, you, you had mentioned Vampirilla, and I noticed that some of your uh, work looks very, very similar to uh, Lucio's. Yeah. And did you draw inspiration from that? I mean, it's like, I see some of it, and his Vampirilla covers are very iconic. Yeah, my uh, the first Vampirilla 8 was kind of an homage for Lucio. I don't tell, because, like, when he saw me painting, uh, uh, I mean, say... I like this one. I want to make my own version of yours. It's fine. Like we, we're, we're. I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, uh, yeah, my recognition. You know, I'm like, uh, he's inspiring me so much. So of course, I'm inspired by what he does, and uh, mm. he, he just like uh, proud of this. So yeah, I'm uh, especially for Vampirilla. How about this? Is Alonzo? This is Alonzo's favorite ever go ahead Alonzo. yeah again uh, this is the one that really drew me into your your work um and again like lucy laura i mean pretty much everybody said it's like the eyes and it's just something about it like she's just she's just like ready like i mean you can tell yeah. like she's very strong and she's you know ready to get into that fight i mean even like with her the way you kind of position the body too i mean she's just ready to go and yeah. again this one just like again, just drew me in, um, and I, I haven't stopped collecting your stuff. I um, mean, just like Laura, though, I do want to get that Sabrina, but it's it's like it's a ghost. Yeah, you can't true. find it. Um, well, well I just have a few copies of Sabrina. Ooh, ooh. ooh. That... Yeah, but uh, no. When I look at this one, though, the eyes are great. Don't get me wrong; those are fantastic. But I always I, for this one, I look at the lips. Look at her face, mm -hmm. like the way her mouth is making an expression. It's kind of like. Not, not a snarl, yeah. but almost like she's she's kind of ready. I think with the mouth yeah. is what I look on this. Yeah, one. there's attitude. Exactly. Attitude. Mm -hmm. Also, there there is something very challenging when you're doing covers is that you don't want like, uh, especially when it's the same character that you have to do like for ten issues. You don't want like to do the same stuff. So even like moving a bit the lips, even like yeah. uh, uh, changing the angle, you need like to renew yourself. So um, I'm trying with those expression and like uh, you picture pretty well all the expression uh, uh, I did and uh, yeah I'm trying to find like different pose different expression that makes my uh, more uh, than battle and the I don't know how to say in English but um, <laughs> I miss myself. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, Carla. Um, if, if I can ask you, is there a character that um, you haven't? 
you know drawn that you would like to draw like a, a specific character that you've seen um on comic book covers I, I, uh, and if so who would that I mean, who would that be uh, I did, um, you mean for covers or, or in general? Uh, uh, just in general. I mean, if, if you saw uh, a character well, that you'd want to draw, I who would that be? My, my favorite character is like Harley Quinn. Uh, and oh. I would love to do a cover, but I did like so many Harley Quinn for a private commission. So I compensate my... my, <laughs> my uh, <laughs> I, I I really love that character. So I did so many portraits of Harley, um, but uh, Harley Quinn and who else? Um, which one? I, oh, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. I was thinking that there too. You, you would kill I it mean, on I, that. Yeah, I, I like really like feminine like that has the, you know, I'm more in like the less is more, so not too much like costume, not too much colors. Because uh, I'm thinking in terms of colors too. I like when it's like a very um, harmonious. And some comic characters bring like uh, too many colors at once. Also for Molly, if I had to do like a, um, a full body, it would have been like too many colors. Or, and, uh, and so it brings like uh, uh, l less fine art and more comics. And some characters are more like more comics, less fine art, which I enjoy both. But uh, for some character like Poison Ivy, I really like because like it's. Uh, oh, it's, you would uh, be so good at that. Keep her sexy and simple. That's kind of like your style. I feel like keep it simple, but just very, very sexy. Yeah, there is a, mm. a proverb. I always use that. Kiss. Keep it. Keep it simple and sexy. <laughs> that's it. Yes. Yep. That's it. K I S. Oh my god, yep. I love it. K I S. Mm hmm. I, I can imagine your Harley Quinn in my mind right now, and I'm just like. Can you guys, you guys, as soon as she said it, you start picturing it, right? Totally. Obviously, I think she would get the crazy eyes. That's important with Harley is capturing that crazy, yeah. but she can't be like too crazy. You got to find a nice balance there where you still see some of her behind the eyes. Yeah. Also her clear, very uh, clear skin, very oh. whitish skin. That porcelain uh, skin. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, how would you say? Like her hair starting very blonde and then goes a little like on the on the pink and the blue. Uh, oh, it's yeah. very it's very enjoyable to do. So, ah, very cool. That is so awesome. So, you, you uh, so you've already done work for DC. Um, is there anything in the works for Marvel? Mm. Mm. Um, I saw you. Did I a can't tell. Can't tell. I saw you. I can't on... say. Like I never did anything so far, but who knows? Yeah, that's my I answer. Did, I saw on your Instagram you did a storm, and again the eyes, her eyes, like it. it oh just, yeah. It, it, uh, the colors, everything. Oh, just thank so, you. So beautiful and again realistic, you know. This like, one is a beautiful. Thank you so much. I, I do a lot of uh, marble uh, uh, painting, but for private commission. I'm 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 working a lot on private commission, and as I'm doing traditional painting, I'm pretty big too. So uh, I had a lot of requests for marble character. So, um, how if I wanted a commission from you, how would I go about it? You just email me. I'm not like That's... too hard to. I'm not too hard to 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 talk with. I'm talking a lot on Instagram to to people. I'm always trying to uh, answer, even if it's, if it's just for a compliment or so. I think the the beauty in this industry is to to keep uh, yourself very uh, simple and make everyone very. Uh, uh, friendly and easy because it's like it's comics you know it's not like we're dealing like with a lawyer or so so i'm uh, mm -hmm. yeah i'm uh, i'm trying to to do to deal direct with people and uh, to make myself very uh, uh, available that's, that's, that's awesome very good to know it's very good to know thank you for that i could see alonso's yeah. face already smiling i know yeah, the Yo, only I, thing I... is that for this year i'm like full 
But you're full. You're full. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, for uh, the beginning of 2022, I I'm opening my 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 list very soon. Okay. But during I like cons, that. right? Okay. But but during cons, right? I, I remember us talking in the backstage, and you love cons, right? Like, tell us more. Like, what is your favorite con that you ever that, that you that you like to go to? So the most uh, where I'm like very like blown away and like magic is happening in san diego there you uh, go man but but i must say we're, where we're I'm, waiting where i'm having uh more fun is in orlando megacon because i can really? go to disneyland and universal <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're not that far from california adventures in, in disneyland so <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. But uh, in Orlando, we, uh, I mean, it's also the place and the people that makes the experience. And with the, in Orlando, we were with just like uh, all those artists that we are very friend with. So we hang out, uh, uh, we play pool at night. Uh, I mean, it, it's uh, it was very uh, it was very very funny. Like you don't feel like you're uh, you're actually working. San Diego is a lot of pressure because like you have a full list. Of commission mm -hmm. to complete in uh, in four days, uh, mm -hmm. and the in the first five minutes of the con you're already full. So it's kind of very um, it's lot really? it's a lot yeah. Huh? People just run up to your booth, or are they, are they just are they sending you emails and, and requesting? Uh, both, both. There is like a pre pre commission, like that uh, the mm -hmm. first day I will deliver to the client okay. that I did previously. And the people like the first, uh, the, the prelim night, you know, there is like always uh, the, the, like, I a think preview, night. A, preview night, right? the preview, preview night, right? The preview night, yeah. the preview night, uh, there is like, a, it, 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 everything go crazy because I have like, let's say, uh, 10 spots on the commission list and the, and the nine spot is going like on the preview night. So I say, I have to be there five days and the people who will be there like only the Saturday, but I'm going to tell them, you know. So, no, I mean, no, yeah, no. so I have to, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of, uh, I have to do a lot, which is good, no, I, but uh, I, I, you, you, I would like to have like eight hands, you know? <laughs> no, I know I mean, I it's funny that you say that because I've actually done that on preview night and go to Artist mm -hmm. Alley and you say, hey, may I please have a commission? And sometimes I'm able to get on that list, sometimes not. And I'm like... I just got on the floor. What happened? I know. I it's like it's it was crazy. Like, we had John Boy on here, and I told John Boy, like, dude, I always want to get a commission for you from San Diego for like the last like five six years. But every time I go by, man, your head's just down, drawing. I don't want to bother you. He's like, dude, just say what's up. I was like, bro, but you guys look so, all you guys in the artist alley always look so busy, like. You guys are like trying to get it done, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also because like, of course, I understand also the client in front. Like you have only four or five days and you want your commission to be completed because like uh, you pay an amount of money and you will go on Sunday yeah. and you need mm, things to be finished, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I don't want to take much so I can guarantee to have finished. But at the same time, you want to satisfy everyone. It's a uh, it's a compromise. It's pretty hectic, mm. I imagine. Yeah. But next time you're in San Diego, like you, you, you gotta hit us up. Like, we'll take you guys, you and Lucio, out to where we call one of our best taco spots out here in San Diego, and that, <laughs> and it's called Cuatro's Milpas, man. I took a couple of the guys there last last time. It was like two years ago. But uh, yeah, you guys gotta hit us up because we'll take you Definitely. to spots, you know. Uh, at our you know, next so. San Diego con, definitely we can hang out and have dinner and. Uh, yeah, have a little uh, not e meeting, but like a real life, uh, a real life moment. Yeah, <laughs> real life moment. to be able to close out the con in uh, peace, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna invite myself. I'll be there too. Oh, I'm gonna, you're I'm right. gonna come join you guys. You guys are gonna be in line with us. We're gonna have that full Comic Con experience. We're gonna be at the booth. We're gonna be able to talk to Carla, and then we're gonna be able to say, okay, we're gonna leave you. And let you work a masterpiece, and then we, you know, we'll spend time no. definitely. Steve will, Steve will bring you some uh, Dole Whip, Carla. That's that's his. That's 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 what Steve does. He comes he come, he comes by on his on a scooter with a Dole Whip. Like, Here you go, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be like that? you were at Disney. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. What's, uh... Lucy, Lucy, what were you gonna say? Oh, what what's a, a snack when you're here in the states? What's the snack talking about food? Snack that you like from that you can only get in the United States. Um, in the United States, what I love the most. Uh, okay, I'm very cliche, but I love Starbucks and I love the yeah. and I love the, uh, the tacos. No, it's not the burritos. Oh, oh, burritos. Oh. Oh. The <laughs> Oh. Guacamole with that cheddar that's going everywhere and you don't know where to put your hands and I really like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm very, I mean, I, I'm not like, I'm a bit into the cliche, but I'm very healthy and trying to eat like very vegetarian, very like salads and everything. But when I'm in US, like, I'm just like, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's how definitely. we do it. Yeah, definitely. That's how we do. Also, you've just loved coming with us because... Yo, man, like we, we, we do it up, man, during the con. Like, uh, and there's so many good places if you go outside of like the, you know, the downtown area. That's there are some great tacos and great burritos. There's a great oh, truck that's like 10 minutes away, you know, like in an, in like what we call South Park. And that's kind of where we park and then we take Ubers in, you know, like you guys are all totally welcome to come with Old us. Old Town San Diego, scavenge. there was a restaurant in Old Town San Diego that they had the lady kind of like on the street walk, like, uh, and she was making tortillas by hand and making it, and people can buy, oh, yeah. for, you know, grab the tortillas and they'll put like a butter and salt. It was so good. I'm like, oh my god, this is perfect. I just want to live here because ate Mexican food everywhere. It was. I think. Beautiful. I think from Parmigiana that I wanted to eat tonight, I moved to a tacos right now. <laughs> <laughs> we changed our minds. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. It'll be a taste of California, Carla, until till next year, till you come back and we start hitting San Diego Comic Con and all these other cons that you'll be at. We're super excited. Super too. I can't wait. Like to be honest, I just like wish it would have been this summer, but uh, yeah, uh, a bit of patience more, and I would be like so happy to 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 meet you there. Oh yeah, oh, definitely. Man. Lunch is on us on one of the days. You know, you guys are you guys are totally welcome to come with us. Laura, you're down too. You, you, you got you, you're, you're, you, Laura. And, uh, Lucy already knows she's welcome to come because Lucy, <laughs> Lu, Lu, Lucy, Lucy's a taco eat in California too, man. You know, all of us are. I just know, had so. some last night, so yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys are all California, right? All four of you. Yeah. Yeah, we are all odd man out here. here. All right. Oh, Laura, Laura, where are you at? I'm in Arizona. Oh, okay. Oh, right. you're like California. You're too. Too. Good job. Oh, good job. What's the huh? difference? <laughs> yeah, there's, no, there, there's no difference. I mean, we're all by Mexico, so we all love like Mexican food. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So Carla, can you tell our, our <laughs> viewers where they can find you? Um, you know, like on your social platforms, can you please uh, let them yeah. know where they can find you and where they could be on the lookout for? Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, I'm very uh, reactive and posting uh, as much as I can in uh, Instagram, which is like kind of my website. I'm using only this platform to make it easier. Um, it's a c dot lart l a r t. Um, I'm uh, I'm I'm reading DM. You can uh, ask me about commission information. Uh, you can watch my story on my process. I divided uh, all my work in progress stuff, all my finished artwork. You can see my preview, uh, released covers. Um, yeah. And uh, on Facebook, I can't accept all the friend requests because uh, Facebook has a limit and I'm kind of very close. But uh, yeah, Instagram is definitely like the best way uh, to follow my work. And I'm very grateful. Uh, I, I got a very... Uh, kind of a huge community in such a small amount of time. And I'm very grateful for people following me. Well, we're following you and we're fans most definitely. So we are, <laughs> yeah, and there'll you. be more to come most definitely. And uh, Laura and Lucy, can you uh, give our viewers where they can find you guys at and what you guys got in the works? Uh, well, I'll go first here. Uh, I'm at Bird City Comics. My husband and I own it. So if you guys haven't seen us, we do live auctions on Facebook. You can find us on our website 24 seven. And then uh, Lucy and I do comic book women on the tales from the flip side channel on Tuesdays. 
at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we do Nearing Nirvana, which is our own personal channel over on Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, 10. So cool. I'm in Pacific time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. We're kind of everywhere. And yeah, I'm fingers crossed here that Bird City Comics will get an exclusive with Carla here in the next year. That's the goal. Awesome. That would be That's, awesome. That would be that awesome. Is the plan. Awesome. Take fingers my money, crossed. Laura. Take I know. My money. You, I'm sending it to you right now. I'm sending it to you right now. <laughs> Yay. It's exciting. also very cool. I have to tell that, of course, you guys, but I really enjoyed uh, uh, meeting uh, Lucy and Laura because uh, we don't see so much uh, uh, women in the comic industry and uh, it awesome. makes me like very happy because it's very cool. awesome. That makes me smile. Thank you. Oh, there's so many girls and it's just still growing and growing. And that's why, you know, we want to do like, especially like, you know, uh, like comic book women and here in Nirvana so they can see that they, mm -hmm. you know, uh, encourage them and, and feel that safe, you know, that there's co co uh, a woman in, in comics. Yeah. Definitely. And I always think there's there's a lot of uh, you know little girls and and teens and women that are in the comics, but they just don't have the community to uh, to get on board with. And I just really like uh, the, these these ladies. They're they're doing it for. We're working you know, on all, it. All, <laughs> yeah, and we're we're here. We're here to help because you know everybody should have their community, right? So we are all one but community. Definitely. That's it. Lucy, Mama Comic Lucy, can you yeah. tell us? Can you tell us where we can find you, girl? Well, yeah. Name you guys, my Instagram, Mama Comic, and well, all the same comic book woman. Uh, yeah. Every Tuesday in your Nirvana on Fridays. So yeah, uh, make sure to follow us, and, and you never know what's gonna happen with us. <laughs> yeah, definitely, sub them up, y'all. Sub them up. Sub follow them up. everybody. Support your comic community. But all in the description too. Oh so. yeah, down oh. below. But Carla, can you take us out? Team Nerd Hurt style, please. Okay. Si tu veux faire bien, achète ce que tu aimes. Damn. Awesome. Love Thank it. You. That's it. I could have said anything in French, like I love tacos and burritos, and I have seen the difference, but I say this.